Hey there! I'm here to dive into something pretty neat used in the world of social sciences, CBSEM, or covariance-based structural equation modeling. Now don't let the jargon scare you off. I'm going to break it down, simple and straightforward. First off, what's this CBSEM all about? Well, it's a statistical superhero for researchers. It's mainly used for testing theories. Think of it as putting scientific guesses through a rigorous exam. It looks at how different variables relate and helps confirm if what researchers think is true actually holds water. CBSEM works with something called latent variables. These are not directly observed, but are inferred from other variables that we can measure. So in a nutshell, it splits the work into two, the measurement model, which connects what we see to what we infer, and the structural model, which is all about the relationships between these inferred traits. Now, to the juicy part, how do we know if our model is any good? CBSEM uses a toolkit of fit indices like Chi-Square and RMCI to measure how snug our model fits the actual data. It's like making sure your key not only fits, but opens the lock smoothly. But it's not all smooth sailing. CBSEM needs a bunch of data and assumes that data behaves nicely. Hello, multivariate normality. Plus, it's all about the covariances, basically looking at how changes in one variable are echoed by changes in another. The steps? Start by sketching out your model, what affects what and how. Then check if you've got enough data to back up your claims. Run it through software like Amos or Lizrel. Tweak it based on those fit indices and voila, interpret what the numbers are telling you. And where does this come into play? Everywhere from psychology, understanding personality traits to marketing, figuring out why we buy what we buy. It's a tool that helps clear the fog in complex research landscapes. So, that's a wrap on CBSEM. It's more than just statistical jargon. It's a key player in decoding the complex web of human behavior and relationships in research. Stay curious and keep exploring the numbers. They've got more stories to tell than you might think.